Welcome to the ResCheckSpert blog, your number one resource on high quality, low cost, fast turnaround res check reports, manual J heat loss calcs. Get your res check and manual J started now at www.rescheck.info. First thing we want to talk to you about today is that the DOE and Energy.gov have released the newest version of ResCheck and that includes um, some support for the IECC 2018. Now this is particularly important because uh, this is the newest code since IECC 2015. So it's basically been three years since they added support for a new uh, energy code and uh, this is the latest and greatest. So we uh, find this particularly exciting. What we wanted to do today is just give you a quick, quick tutorial on how to go through and download the actual software and update your ResCheck software on ResCheck Desktop. So let's give it a try. Uh, here's the email that I got from energycode.gov. Uh, came in yesterday. Um, if you want to sign up for these emails, you can go to energy.gov. They'll email you uh, whenever something comes out. Or if you look on the ResCheckSpert blog at www.rescheck.info, you can also get a copy of this link here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Give It a Try Today. I'll click on that. That's going to take me to energycodes.gov backslash rescheck. I'm going to download the, the ResCheck for Windows right here, or if you just want to use it on the web over the cloud, uh, you can go to Start ResCheck Web. The best thing about ResCheck Web is that it's constantly updated, so you don't have to go through and download new versions. So if you use that, you can update all your users over the cloud. It's a great seamless application, but today I just wanted to show you how to update your ResCheck software for Windows. So we're going to go through and we'll download that. It's down here at the bottom of the screen. We'll click on that. Uh, it asks if we want to allow the publisher to make changes. We're going to say yes. Okay, next it says, Welcome to ResCheck 4.6.5.1 Setup Program. This program will install ResCheck 4.6.5.1 on your computer. Uh, exit all programs. I never do that. And then uh, we're going to click next. Then ResCheck 4.6.5.1 is configured to upload and save project data. Whenever the software upgrade checks are run, uploaded project data will be used to analyze building attributes and assemblies. Individual project data will not be shared and will remain, remain anonymous. If you would like to disable the upload feature, visit Preferences. So this means that every project that you do in ResCheck, they're going to take your data and analyze it at the Department of Energy. I think that's fantastic. I allow them to do it. I suggest you do too. It helps them create better software. Click Next. Um, I'm going to do a single user. I do a single user on all my computers. Um, it'll give you a path. I'll actually go through and make a different path. I'm going to name it Point .1 because I like to keep my older versions of software in case there's a glitch, uh, especially when these softwares are new. If there's a glitch in them, you don't want to go through and only have one version available to you, especially if you're doing uh, quite a few res checks every day. So I, I'll name it something different so it doesn't overwrite my old version. Go to Next. It goes through and installs everything. Watch it work. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Successfully installed. Click the Finish button. Then I'll go to my desktop, uh, let's see, 4.6.5.1 right here, we'll open that up, and voila, your newest uh, ResCheck software is there, got everything you need to do uh, ICC 2018, and thank you again for listening to the res check spurt blog if you need a res check or energy report created you can go to www.rescheck.info all you have to do is go to the top of the page to the buy now button click that choose your report uh, single report multi reports click buy now just execute all the all the instructions and you'll go through and you'll have your res check back to you in about four to six hours thanks again for listening